Hi guys, I know others have done this. She's been out for about a week or so now, a couple weeks maybe. But the American girl Courtney, the 80s girl, has just released. And I thought I would walk you guys through her collection. As you can see, she's super cute. I don't currently have her. My daughter is getting her for her birthday from Nana, so. There's a few items that I'm going to get myself. I'm not going to get the doll because we have the rule in our house. Only one of each name doll. But there's going to be some items that I get for myself as well. My daughter is going to have them in her collection to play with. But mine are going to be for my collection. First, so we'll start off with actual Courtney herself. Okay, we'll click on Courtney. As you can see, she's got these cute blue eyes and her hair, a lot of people compare her to Mary Ellen. Um, my friend Heather has both her, Mary Ellen, and Lainey. The color of her hair is not the same as Mary Ellen's in person. Um, the bangs people compare to Mary Ellen's, but in all honesty, I think they're, they're a little more like Lainey's. They're feathered more. They're not straight in that weird cut like Mary Ellen has, but a lot of people have compared her to Mary Ellen. I think she's cute. She has this blue top with a crop top with a tank top purple layered underneath it. She comes with these cute um, acid wash jean skirt, some pink tights, and some fake leather boots. I thought these were like plastic, but I found out from Heather they are actually like a soft, full leather. And we'll just get a close-up of her outfit. And she does have a hot pink scrunchie. And here's the back of her hair. She's got this really cute curly hair. She honestly reminds me a lot of um, Stephanie Tanner. And then these are her accessories if you choose to get them with. She's got some cute brace, multicolor bracelets. There's black, orange, hot pink, and green. She has a mayor pin because in the books her mother is running for mayor. And she's got uh, actual a cassette tape Walkman that is hot pink. She's got a cassette tape. Now this cassette tape does not work with the Walkman, but it does work with the boombox. And then she has a Lip Smackers necklace. So that's Courtney and her accessories. Gonna, oh, hit the back button. Um, you, she, the doll itself is $110 or for $140 you can get the whole, or you can get Courtney with her accessories. Or for $245 you can get her totally rad collection. So there's another, this one must have just come out because there was a complete, or I can't remember what that one was called. This one's the Totally Rad Collection. There was another collection that must have sold out that was the same price that came with her sleeping bag and pajamas and caboodle. That was more like a sleepover set, but this has like her outfits. I think it has all of her outfits except for the t-shirts. Um, then there's also this mini Pac-Man machine it does say it's pre-order some people that ordered it right away when it came out have already received it it is super super cute guys um it actually does play it turns on and you can play the game it's like the original pac-man i know there's a bunch of people out there that are saying oh you can go to walmart and get one you can go to um Walgreens and get one so there are a few others that have like a pac-man arcade machine, but I believe the scale is not like this so I'm putting Courtney next to it. You can see the scale is pretty much It's not exact, but a lot of American Girl stuff is not exact scaling But I think that this machine looks bigger than the cheaper ones from Walmart and such um, I'll have to look next time I go to Walmart to make sure then we've got this outfit. So what they did with Courtney's collection is it's a lot of mix and match. So like this outfit, usually it pops up to let you, oh, it's because I'm not signed in, to do the quick view. So you can buy it in pieces or you can do like the quick collection like this one where it's Courtney, they're calling it Courtney's t-shirt, tie, 
or a shirt tie jeans outfit. So it comes with this really cute uh, button down shirt that has like a Save by the Bell design that it really reminds me of Save by the Bell. It's got a little purple tie. She's got some acid wash jeans and these hot white and hot pink high tops. My daughter wants them. I am getting them for myself as well because I actually had a bunch of these shoes in the 80s as a child. It has her fanny pack. Um, I think they call it a hip bag. Um, and then it comes with her sunglasses, her hot pink sunglasses, and her watch. So, uh, what do they call it? Belt bag is what they call it. And her pretend hot pink strapped watch, or pink watch. I can't remember what kind of watch it is. It's a watch that a lot of people in the 80s had. I personally did not have it. So you can either buy this all as a collection or you can pick and choose. This is how they're doing the, everything is separate. So like you buy the shirt for 16, the pants for 16, the shoes for 16. Some people don't like it because it seems like it's a little more expensive to do it that way because you can usually for $32 buy a complete outfit from other lines, 32 to $46. Um, some even as low as 28. So it does seem that this is a little more expensive, but you get to pick what and choose what you want. So then we also have Courtney School Supplies. Oh, why did that one? Okay, now this one will come up. I can pop up as a quick view. So here's her school supplies. There's two real pencils, a Liesl Frank folder, and there's two of those. A cute little pencil box that's got a pencil sharpener on it, some faux... Um, loose leaf paper, some puffy stickers. Like You gotta have puffy stickers if you're talking 80s. Um, a kitten, dinosaur, and dog pencil topper that you use erasers. And then this Lisa Frank looking um, trapper. It's not an actual trapper keeper, but it's a three ring binder. I know. And then we've got her accessories again and her cute Pac-Man lunchbox. How stinking cute is this? Now this is definitely an 80s lunch. So you've got the plastic Pac-Man lunchbox. And if people are wondering what the whole Pac-Man thing is, you know, girls would usually typically have like Care Bears or um, Rainbow Bright or um, Strawberry Shortcake, stuff like that. But in her story, she loves arcades, so she picks Pac-Man. So it's got a Pac-Man plastic lunchbox, the thermos. She has, it looks like a cheese sandwich, some apples, and a brownie cake. Now this is like a cosmic cake. I remember having those in my lunches. They still make them. My kids love them and I think they're disgusting as an adult, but it's like a cosmic brownie. And then the cheese balls. They call them cheese puffs, but you know that is the planter's cheese ball container. How cute is that? I want this, but I mostly want it for this because I, that, that was a staple at grandma's house. So as you can see, here's her mega mix and match and it's just showing different outfits together and different configurations. So here we can get, you can get the girls pajamas. So as you can see right here, we'll do a quick view. Um, we have the girls Care Bear pajamas. So they are blue, they've got the Care Bears on it, and I believe they're made of like a fleecy material. So I'll be right back. Hi guys, sorry about that. So we are talking about Courtney's pajamas. Um, so these are the girls pajamas. And of course there is Courtney's pajamas herself. And they come with, it's the super cute, and like I'm, I'm assuming they're the fleecy material like they had back in the 80s. The body of them is like a dark blue, the sleeves are like a mint green, some fuzzy mint green socks, and a mint green scrunchie for her hair. I am so in love with this, guys. Um, you know what? Let's go to the actual view of it because there's so much with this one. So this is Courtney's... Um, bedroom set so it's her bed so as you can see it's a hot pink bunk bed because she shares a room with her sister tina i believe um courtney is the messy one that sleeps on the top and tina is the neat and tidy one that sleeps on the bottom oh, they don't show all the accessories with this i wish they would guys it's awesome so 
maybe you can kind of see them. So right here you see some books. I know one of these books is um, a Surprise for Molly, which is Molly's Christmas book. Um, one is Sarah Plain and Tall. And I cannot remember the third book. I want to say it's like a journal. I believe people have said that I've gotten it. She's got a totally 80s, um, almost Lisa Frank looking calendar, some posters, um, a poster for her mom. Um, the bed has, each bed has these two pillows that make a rainbow and the comforter looks like a rainbow. And then there's one Pac-Man pillow. And guys, look at this. How awesome is this? So there's a little telephone book back there, if you remember those, and the see-through telephone. I had one of those as a kid. I absolutely loved that phone. Here's a better look at the phone. Like, this is so totally a phone that I had as a kid. Um, and also having a telephone address book right sitting next to the phone. Because, remember, this was back when phones didn't have speed dial or remembered everybody's phone number. Heck, you didn't even know who was calling, so you actually had to answer the phone when it rang. And so here's a better picture of the book. So yeah, you can see right here, Sarah Plain and Tall. I think this one, oops, sorry guys. This one right here is a journal. The yellow one is Sarah Plain and Tall, and the white one is Molly. Um, there comes with some hangers to hang some of her clothes up. And then there is this cute little plant. And so here's a picture Courtney with the set. I absolutely love this set. It's adorable. Um, I wish it wasn't $250, but it is what it is. Um, I want to eventually get it. Then next we have Courtney's denim jacket, and it's just a basic... Sorry, guys, I got the hiccups all of a sudden. Stonewashed um, denim jacket. So here, the back of it. And see, this is where it's like, I, I get the mix and match concept. I like it, but I don't like it. Then we have got Courtney's boombox. This is another thing that's going to be coming home to me. Um, so you get these two fruit punches. Um, they call this thing a cootie catcher. I remember as a kid, we called it a fortune teller. Um, it's one of those things that you make and you play with your hands and you... You say, you pick a number, and then you open and close it, depending upon that number, and then you just, like, you'll say blue, and then you spell out blue, and then you pick another, and it, underneath, it folds into different things to supposedly tell your fortune. I remember using those as a child. Um, this is a doodle book, like a um, drawing notebook with a pen. Some tortilla chips that her and her best friend like to eat. I cannot remember what they said her best friend's name is for the life of me. And then there is the boom box itself. Now this boom box does work. But not in the way that you think. So you see these cassette tapes, these mixtapes that are down here. These all will work in the boom box playing a song um, specifically um, written for Courtney as well as the cassette tape from her accessory set. Her meat accessories will also work in this boom box. All these cassette tapes will fit in the Walkman, but they will not work in the Walkman. They will play songs in the boom box. The boom box also makes some radio sounds, so like you can scroll through and it sounds like you're getting in some radio stations and some static in between them. So it's really cool. I really want to get the boom box for myself. Um, then we've got her belt bag with her swatch watch. That's what I could not think of the name of it. So it's a purple watch. I'm waiting for it to pop up. There we go. So it's a purple watch with some black detail and like a aqua face for it. And then the belt bag or fanny pack is black and it's got this geometric design on it and some stars and neon colors. Then we've got Courtney's flats and socks so they're a hot pink flat with a like aqua sock we've got Courtney's acid wash denim jeans that have like this kind of strange button fly now she was supposed to be this is supposed to be 1986 but I remember these from early 90s in all honesty I remember these are like a save by the bell Jesse would wear these type of jeans a lot sometimes Lisa would but mostly Jesse 
um, as well as Slater had a few pairs of these acid wash jeans that buttoned like this. Then we've got Courtney's fashion accessories. So I'm going to click on this one to get a bigger view of it. So we've got these um, lacy gloves, fingerless gloves, a neon green scrunchie, um, a bow that goes around her hair that's hot pink and it's kind of a tulle. And then she does have some 80s earrings. So there's a green stud with a green triangle and a pink stud with a pink heart. Um, her ears do not come pierced. You have to get her ears pierced separate. Um, the only thing I wish they would do is if you bought the set when you're buying the doll, they would do the ear piercing for free. I don't know why they don't. Because the $16 is exactly what it costs to get her ears pierced and then you get those studs that every other doll gets so I don't understand why they just couldn't if you buy this set you would get the ear piercing free but it is what it is I absolutely love this it's her suspenders skirt and suspenders it's this really cute purple skirt with some hot pink suspenders then we've got her leggings set which you've got the purple lacy leggings which actually match the purple lacy gloves fingerless gloves and then some just like neon blue leggings then down here um i love this too this reminds me of full house um it looks like a cute i call it the kimmy kimmy gibbler sweater it's courtney's cardigan and it is hot pink main portion of it with the sleeves are purple and it's got like these neon green and blues and some pinks um, geometric and just random designs all over it then there is Courtney's tank top and shirt set so you've got the full layered tank top that's neon green with a white underlay and then you've got a white t-shirt that has a cassette tape on it this one I'm still, I'm, it's cute, but this reminds me of Joey um, from Full House. Um, a few people have said that like Jesse from Stay by the Bell would wear something like this, but it is that like mint green button down shirt with the hot pink squiggles and some black squiggles and some yellow squiggles and it's got a purple tie. I'll probably end up with it or my daughter will end up with it. You know, at some point we're going to end up with this whole collection between me and my daughter. Um, but it's not a favorite. This is a must-have for me. Guys, I as soon as I saw this in one of the leaked promo pictures, I knew I had to have it. It is her caboodle set. I love it. I still have some of my caboodles from when I was a kid. In fact, my daughter even has a few caboodles. They're just very multi-purpose items. So it is a hot pink caboodle with a like mint green bottom and it's the sliding type for when you open it. It comes with a white hair pick and a like green banana clip. Then you get some a blue and a pink scrunchie and then you get a hot pink like tool bow and it comes with some hairspray. Now it's not Aquanet brand but it is some hairspray, some hard helmet hold hairspray and then there's some nail stickers and some fake makeup and I cannot remember I want to say that's like a makeup guide that's sitting in there in the red thing we'll click on it so we'll pull this one fully up because this is like one of this is one of my I love I need to get items um it has pink and teal caboodle pretend can of hairspray, white pick, blue and white hair ties, which are the scrunchies, green banana pick, pink lacy bow for adding to ponytails, pretend makeup compact with several eyeshadows, and four sheets of nail stickers. So I'm assuming, because it shows the nail stickers here, I'm not exactly sure. They don't really say, oh, it says nail stickers on it, so the nail stickers must go in that I that that's uh, I'm going to own that for me item 
Then this is the Ultimate Courtney collection that I had been talking about. So there's now two collections that you can buy. So this one's $249 as well. This one comes with her Care Bear sleeping bag set. It comes with her Care Bear pajamas, her, um, as I call it, the Kiwi Gibbler cardigan, the t-shirt and tank top set, the legging set, We've got the lunch box down here and then Courtney with her meat accessories. So you have two collections that you can choose from now to purchase her. Then we'll go on to Courtney's um, Care Bear. Now, my daughter is getting this for Christmas from my friend Heather, but I will be purchasing it for myself as well because I actually had this sleeping bag as a child. So it's a blue sleeping bag and it's got a bunch of Care Bears on it. And then it comes with bedtime bear as a little stuffed bear and a blue pillow with rainbow on it that says Care Bears on it. Love this. I also love this dress. This, this once again, this more reminds me more of the 90s than the 80s, but it, I will be eventually getting it. It is her splatter paint dress. So it's a black dress with lots of neon colors just splattered all over it. So there's some blues, greens, um, pinks, oranges, yellows in it. I love this dress. And once again, I will be purchasing these because I had many pairs as a child. Courtney's high top sneakers. Um, they're just white sneakers that have the Velcro high tops on it with some hot pink bows and the soles of the shoes are hot pink. Um, I'll probably eventually be getting this, but not right away. So in the stories, uh, Courtney's parents are divorced and her dad moves away and she is very drawn to Molly. Now remember this is 1986 so this is the year that American Girl came out so the only choices were Molly, Kirsten, and Samantha to choose from and she was drawn to Molly's story because in Molly's story her dad is in England for World War II and Molly really misses being away from her dad so that's part of the premise of Molly's stories. Well Courtney whose father lived farther away from her after her parents got divorced, um, is drawn to Molly's story because she misses her dad as well. So for Christmas, I believe it is, her dad does buy her Molly. So they have a uh, mini Molly. So it's Courtney's Pleasant Company doll is what they call it, but it's a mini, mini Molly. So that's a mini Molly. She comes in what, this is the wrong box for that year, but... Um, she comes in a Pleasant Company box instead of what the mini dolls come in now. She also comes with the original um, Molly book, hardcover. And then she's got a little teeny tiny Pleasant Company catalog, which um, is people who have gotten it have taken pictures, and it is historically accurate. Somebody actually found this catalog. They had one that they had saved all these years and said that, yep, that page for page, this catalog is correct. So I will eventually be getting it, but not right away, because I do have a mini Molly. Then we have got Courtney's crop jacket. So it's got the big, it's like a hot pink, bright standout jacket. Um, it's got a collar on it. It's got these big puffy sleeves, some big, like, the, I don't believe that there are shoulder pads in here, but it looks like there could be shoulder pads in there. And then lastly, we have got Courtney's glasses. So it's just these hot pink, totally 80s glasses that are the plastic that have the little doodads on the front. I remember owning lots of pairs of those. And then here is how you can purchase her mix and match again. So there's, you can buy it as a set. So if you like these outfits together, they show kind of what to look for. So these are just very different variations of her jet or her outfits and I love this together except for I would put the high tops with it because I remember as a kid wearing dresses like this with these high tops kind of like the skirt so I wish they would have put the high tops with it I'm not a huge fan of these shoes with the socks like I said they'll probably end up coming home but I'm not a huge fan of them and then there's the last look and then there is Courtney's first book that is um changed Courtney changes the game or changes yeah changes the game and then the girls who code is a thing American Girl is doing for teaching girls coding because part of Courtney's is she loves arcade games and she wants to learn how to code I believe I have not read her book um, 
before she came out, it was leaked. A few chapters of it, so people have kind of read it. And obviously now that people have the book, they've read it. So I am in love with this collection. I didn't think I would be. Like when they're talking about an 80s doll, I would prefer a 90s doll. Well, I was born in the early 80s. Um, the early 90s made more of an impression on me. So it... I like this collection, but I'm feeling... The reason why I'm excited about a lot of this collection is because, to me, it's kind of a mix of 80s and early 90s. So, it's reminding me of my childhood, even though the things that it's reminding me of are stuff like I had in the 90s, like the Lisa Frank set. Um, I had a Walkman. The plastic lunch boxes, like stuff like that. So, I mean, it does remind me of my childhood, but I wasn't a huge 80s fan. Like, I'm not a big 80s person so anyways I hope you enjoyed this video and kind of my quick overview of Courtney the new 80s American Girl I will see you all later bye